Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today I'm going to be talking about missing episodes. Now, recently I did a video <coughs> that was basically, what if you ran into a magic lamp and a genie that would let you pick 10 missing Doctor episodes, Doctor Who episodes to recover? And my list was very trout and heavy. I only had one Hartnell story on there, which of course was Ten Planet Episode Four. The other nine slots went to trout went to Troughton stories. And with it being so one sided for me, I figured, you know what? Maybe I should break these down and do like a video talking about what five Hartnells you would pick, and a video talking about what five Troutons you would pick. That seems a little more fair. And so today's video is going to be, what if you found a magic lamp, Genie popped out and said, yeah, I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I will let you recover five missing episodes, not stories, episodes of William Hartnell's Doctor Who, 60's first Doctor, Doctor Who. So only the first Doctor. Which five episodes would you pick and why? This required a little more thinking on my part. Of course, I knew number one would be 10th Planet episode four. I talked about that in the other video. That's kind of the most important missing episode in Doctor Who being the first regeneration, Hartnell's last regular story, the appearance of Troughton, and the end of the first Cyberman story. It's just kind of the one, if we could only get one, we need. So, because one, I'd like to see it, and two, just for the historical significance of it, uh, would it would definitely be Tenth Planet Episode 4. Number two on the list is actually an episode I haven't seen. I would be getting this one more because I know the fandom would want it. That would be episode four of The Massacre. Because I've heard from a lot of people The Massacre is good, which is odd considering I'm sure that recon is a nightmare to get through since there's no telesnaps. It all has to be made with production stills. It's the reason why I haven't attempted. I'll probably wait for it to get animated. <clears throat> um... But I, I always hear episode four is really good. Apparently Hartnell has this really good speech in it, like right up there with the one day I shall come back speech. I, I've never heard it, but I've heard it's really good. Uh, so I would probably get that, one, just so we would have an episode of The Massacre, and two, because that's the one everyone seems to want. So I would do that kind of for the fandom. Uh, number three and number four is Dalek's Master Plan, episodes 11 and 12. This would give us almost half of Dalek's Master Plan. Five of the 12 episodes. We already have two, five, and ten. This would give us 11 and 12. Also, you'd have the last three episodes there in a row. Also, episode 12 sounds like it's pretty good. Like, I, I, Sarah, Sarah's death sounds like it's absolutely terrible um, and gruesome. So it would be neat to have those, you know, it's Dallas Master Plan. That's such an iconic story in its own right to try to get as much of it back as possible. You know, it's amazing we have three episodes of it at all, considering all the circumstances around it. Um, but to have more of that would be really nice. So I would definitely do that. Uh, I feel like it would make it a lot easier to get through that story. And then the final one on the list, I really heed and hawed over, um... I wasn't quite sure. You know, I'd love to get more of Reign of Terror back because I love Reign of Terror. There's other, you know, maybe episode four of Myth Makers, episode four of Savages. The one I went with was just episode four of The Crusade. Um, I tend to like The Crusade, but you guys know I tend to love when a final episode of a story exists. Kind of like with Wheel in Space, I love the fact the final episode exists. Uh, so having, only having to go through the recon of episode two would make Crusade a, uh, more enjoyable to, me, enjoyable to me. I like the Crusade as is, although the reconstruction on the box set is still a little tricky to get to with Episode 4. You really have to turn on the subtitles so you know what's going on on screen sometimes, where Episode 2 didn't really have that problem. But so much happens here at the climax of the story that I feel like uh, Episode 4 is kind of the one needed. And then we'd only be missing one episode from Season 2, and Crusade, I feel like would be a little more watchable. It's still watchable, but it would be even more watchable. Those are the ones I would pick for the first Doctor stories. 10th Planet Episode 4, Massacre Episode 4, Dallas Master Plan Episode 11 and Episode 12, and The Crusade Episode 4. I want to know what you think of this list and which five episodes from the first Doctor era you would pick. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. And, of course, comment down below. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me on that. There's a link to that down in the description below. My entry level tier is only $2 a month. Check that out. I also have YouTube memberships available. 
I uh, have a P.O. box if there's anything you'd like to send me to look at and review. I'd love to get a copy of The War Machines. I've really been wanting to rewatch The War Machines. It's really hard to find a copy. U.S. or U.K. I have a region free player. And I also have uh, a link to my Amazon wish list down there as well. Most importantly, thank you for watching.